Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today. Down in San Clemente. And uh, storm's coming in. It's beautiful. But I'm at the Marine Memorial at Semper Fi Park, which is beautiful. And we need to fasten our seatbelts, guys, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. And uh, so much to talk about right now. And... Uh, before I get into it, please take a second. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And today we have a sponsor, Patriot Gold, which I'll talk about a little later. But one thing that's been talked about so much lately is uh, the layoffs, guys. The hundreds of thousands of layoffs. Now, let me show you guys something. How beautiful this is. Now you guys can sit there and we can you know, talk about, you know, Disney and the things we know about. How about the ones we haven't heard about yet? How about JP Morgan's going to lay people off? That was kind of a surprise to me. How about eBay? eBay's going to lay off uh, um, 500 jobs right now. A firm, tech company, same thing. They're going to lay off 19% of their staff. And uh, GoDaddy. GoDaddy's uh, going to lay people off 8% of their staff. Once again, guys, things are not good right now in the economy. You're seeing businesses shutter like we've never seen before. And again, this is a very cool spot up here, guys, for the price of parking in a parking meter, whether you hit the lot or you hit the meter, I think it's $1.50 an hour to come up here. It's so cheap, but it's just beautiful and uh, absolutely just such a majestic picturesque place. You've got restaurants on the pier, all these other places to eat at. Just a very, very cool spot. But uh, guys, I mean, what else? Uh, Nomad Health, 20% of their entire staff. Zoom, we already talked about Zoom this week. Uh, Boeing, Dell, you know. But Gallup poll, everybody says, hey, things are not good. Things are, are not what they anticipated they would be right now. So when you see these retail stores go out of business, there is a cheese store that has been uh, in New Jersey for decades. And one of those specialty sh uh, cheese shops that people go to and you get, uh, uh, you know, high-end cheese, wine, stuff like that. Well, how about this, guys? They haven't paid their rent in three years, so they have to close. It's bankruptcy time for them, and the bankruptcy is not going to stop the inevitable, which is the closure of the business. But when was the last time you went to a cheese shop? When was the last time you said, I need to go to a leave, honey, and, and get ourselves a $20 a pound Gouda, okay? You just don't do it. Nobody does that stuff anymore. So that's what we're experiencing right now. They're going out of business. We're going to see much more of this, guys. One thing that... Uh, you're also seeing is the big retailers go down for the count. Think about this. Walmart, they're going to close all their underperforming stores that they're about to announce. And you're going to see multiple stores go down in surprising areas. So, you know, you may think your Walmart's busy, but Walmart's going to close. You're going to see that. Yahoo, Yahoo's going to get rid of 20% of its staff right now. Huh? Who knew Yahoo was still open? People joke with me about that one. But Yahoo does the business news. That's the only thing I think Yahoo is good for. And uh, share your thoughts on that stuff, guys, because it's that's a lot, guys. 20% of their staff is done. And uh, I always get nervous around the railroad tracks down here. You can walk across the tracks here. You can also go under the bridge if you don't want to deal with tracks. But they just reopened this, guys, recently because there was a mudslide. And through San Clemente, they couldn't get the, uh, uh, the train through here. So that finally reopened. But it's cold out here. You don't have the surfers. You don't have nearly the crowd you would normally have out here with this. Two things that we've talked a lot about are office space, retail office space. It's a huge problem. Toronto is a big business city, guys. Eastern side of Canada, their office space 
There's so much of it. There's such a glut of available office space that uh, subletting, people can't even do that. People won't sublease from other people. Nobody wants an office. Nobody wants the expense. This goes back to the Super Bowl argument. People are not spending money, guys, right now. They just aren't. They're, they're, they're tired of the problems. Uh, CoinCloud is a crypto ATM operator. Uh, they've got $100 million that uh, they are owed uh, to Genesis. They're filing for bankruptcy, $100 million. You know what's weird is we've got so desensitized to these numbers, guys. We hear these wild figures like a billion dollars, a hundred million dollars. Nobody sits there and bats an eye anymore. And speaking of crypto, uh, this is beautiful. The FTX scandal finally broke to where they had a list of everybody that got FTX money from donations. And they went, the owners of FTX, now, you know, John Ray, the new CEO, that took over for uh, Sammy Scammy. That guy is starting to sue the politicians saying you have to return this money. And some of it's local politicians here, like Lou Correa is a local congressman here in Southern California. And he was only given 2,900 bucks, but he's like, yeah, I donated that money. I, I didn't keep it once I knew it was, uh, was from those guys. Do you believe that? Come on, who believes that? Okay, so remember, millions and millions and millions of dollars was given away by this guy and it's gone just gone so now they're going to start to sue these politicians so that's going to be worth seeing and uh let me know what you guys think about that Hey guys, let's talk about our sponsor, Patriot Gold Group. Things are serious right now, guys, with all the headlines about all of the layoffs and business closures and everything that we're experiencing. You need to look at your retirement now more than ever and take a serious look at having precious metals in your 401k and your IRA. The best place to do that, Patriot Gold Group, guys. Call them today, 888-330-1431, and get a free investor guide. You know, again, I keep going back to this one headline that the Wall Street Journal had about retirement. It says, what are you going to do, just sit there and do nothing? The Biden administration has watched 401ks and, and retirement get depleted by as much as 40% over the last two years. You need a safe haven investment, and that is precious metals, guys. You need to go with Patriot Gold. They're the number one rated best in class service for over six years. Consumer Affairs had given them the highest possible rating as well. Call them before it's too late. 888-330-1431 today and let them know that I allegedly sent you. There's absolutely no obligation, but look at your retirement and do this before it's too late, guys. I love when you guys send me stuff. And lately, Dr. Marvin has been on fire. This guy's been sending me so many great stories. Uh, think about this. Uh, City University of New York, which I had never heard of until he sent me the story, hiring freeze, guys, because students aren't going there. They're not going to the City University of New York because they can't afford it. Why? Why, you know, even with student loans, even with all the student, you know, aid, everything, they're not going. The other great story that he sent me is retail crime is an absolute huge problem in New York. So what these people are doing is people are using AI and face reading uh, technology to catch thieves. So here's the sick part about retail theft. Okay. Think about, think about what I'm telling you. You've got people that don't need to steal because they have money. Okay. The facial recognition is catching these degenerates that are wealthy stealing for kicks in New York. How about that? I mean, Dr. Marvin's a, you know, a therapist, psychologist, you know, in that realm. I'm sure there's a therapy session there for these people. But the story is fantastic about how these, oh, stealing chicken breasts and putting them under their baby, crazy stuff like that. But guys, this is terrible. And not because they can't afford it. I get a job, pay for it. That's what I think. But it is horrible that people that can't afford this are not doing this. Now, 
The one thing I hate lately is I love shopping at the dollar store. As I call it, not the Dollar Tree anymore because it's not a dollar. Okay, the 99 cent store is the 99 with all their you know $30 bottles of wine, which I'm telling you, has anybody ever bought an expensive bottle of wine? When I say expensive from that place, 30 bucks for a bottle of wine at the Dollar Tree, the 99, the 99 stores. You guys ever bought that? Okay, here you go, baby. For you. Oh, Valentine's Day is coming up, guys. Something nice for your girlfriend. Get her one of those things of wine and photograph it and send it to hello at iallegedly.com. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> I got to do this without laughing. Dan recommended I get you this, baby. It's all just for you, okay? It's a burgundy street mix, okay? Anyways, Scott sent me a great picture from the Dollar Tree where bleach, guys, used to go buy Dollar Bleach. No, it's, it's a thimble now size. Look at this photo, guys. It's ridiculous, okay? But the other day I was in the Dollar tr uh, Tree with my daughter, and I should have photographed how thin the paper towels were because they used to be the big roll for a buck, and now they're literally one-third of the size. It's like it's like somebody stole a bunch of paper towels and rewrapped re them. It's horrible. And, and then Shane, Shane sent me a great story about uh, drive up, tellers at the banks. I used to love to go to the drive up teller at the bank where you had, you put the little, uh, your, your deposit slip and the cylinder and it would get sucked up and it would go to the woman and she'd, hi, how are you? You know, and think about this. You could continue the phone call with your mistress. Uh, you women cheating on your husbands didn't have to leave the car. You could have, Hey baby, hang on. Let me do the banking for my husband. Okay. You could have continued that with a drive up teller. Not anymore guys. They got rid of those, they're ATM machines now. So just don't have the allure for cheating. <laughs> so share your thoughts on that. But just disappointing, guys. We're getting rid of all these great things that we had in the past. The, the thing that floors me, though, is the, uh, the cheating or uh, the stealing and people that can afford to steal that are on facial recognition. And now they're, they're posting their pictures in these New York stores. Isn't that awesome? I mean, wouldn't that be great? Oh my God, that's Glenda. Oh yeah, that's her baby. I mean, that'd be that'd just be solid gold. So share your thoughts on this stuff, guys. It's a very cold morning out here, guys. So hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's good. Lots more to cover. I've gotten a bunch of emails this morning on uh, the last stock I talked about, and that was Calinex Mines. Now, I'm not giving you guys financial advice. Do your own due diligence on it. Great company, I think. CLLXF is their ticker symbol. And a uh, company that's moved a lot over the course of the last few years. And uh, it's a great spot. A lot of people are investing in it. Uh, a lot of good things are happening. They've got a lot of good drilling news that are coming out. But take a look at CLLXF, guys, if you're interested in the mining stocks. Do you hate it when you buy something and you look up and oh my God, that's on sale now. I can't stand that. Well, Martin sent me the greatest email ever because he's on the Toll Brothers email list. Toll Brothers is a home builder back east and they have massive discounts right now on home sales. Think about this, $1.2 million homes down to a million bucks. How would you like to be the person on that street that spent $1.2 million and the jackass on your street got it for $200,000 less. That is the beginning of the end, guys. It is over with. And when you look at these numbers, the cheapest discount, 75 grand, guys, for a $500,000 house to 480 something, 448 or something. Anyways, it's crazy. Absolutely nuts when you look at this. The next thing is we're going to experience a huge problem with retirement and baby boomers. There are 72 million people that are in the baby boomer uh, age group that are going to be retiring soon, but not so fast. The problem with it is that there's not gonna be the opportunity. These people don't have money saved. They have not put anything aside. And the problem with it right now is that there may not be jobs in the future. Crazy. You know, one of my attorneys is in his late 80s. This guy's the sharpest guy I know, okay? But when I've asked him, have you ever thought about not doing, what am I gonna do, Dan? 
what I do. And he's great at it. He's absolutely brilliant. He's, you know, known throughout Southern California. He's just a really, really sharp guy. But what are you going to do? Seriously, take it easy. A lot of people work because they enjoy it. And this lack of the ability to retire is awful. And then raising the Social Security limit, you know, now to 67. We might as well be France if they do this to everybody and make it so that it's not that people are not eligible for an older age. It's terrible, guys. Growing up in my 20s, they kept telling me Social Security wouldn't be there when I was old enough for it. But I have relatives and I have business people that go, you bet I'm taking that. I paid into that for 40 years. I'm going to take that money. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when it's gone. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. But these home prices that are that are for sale, that are off right now, this is ridiculous, guys. This is the beginning of it. Larry Summers, he's the ex-Treasury Secretary for Clinton. This guy keeps coming out weekly. This guy is coming out with a new warning every week. And this one is, this is going to be a wild, a wily coyote moment where everything's going to go off a cliff and that people financially are going to be upside down and experience things they've never seen before. That is crazy to think about it that way. Here in Southern California, we're getting hit with burglars that are what they call tourism burglars that travel in groups from South America up to nice houses and burglar expensive homes. And they're great at it. They are, they, they use uh, chainsaws, heavy machinery, take out safes, but they hit the really high end homes and uh, scope it out, hit it, and then go to another city. Unbelievable guys. So great article below about this, but it was like, wow, that's just up the street, you know, in some of these nicer, you know, North Tustin, and uh, Anaheim Hills and these great communities and Yorba Linda, like we talked about yesterday. It's unbelievable that they're doing this, but you know, brazen thieves and that's what they do. Also, my daughter was telling me about how these group of thieves will go to concerts and they will fan out and steal people's cell phones. And they caught these two people, guy and a girl, they had over 50 cell phones with them. And they finally had to, you know, people are partying, they're dancing at the, uh, at the, uh, um, at the uh, uh, concert, and they don't realize that they've been robbed until much later. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. Let me know what you think about this. One more Dr. Marvin story was, and this is where the Fasten the Seatbelt line came for the title of the video today, was natural gas, guys, going to go through the roof again going to absolutely shoot up between now and April, they think. So get ready, guys. Get ready to pay more for nothing, to heat your home. Cook. Get ready. The, uh, what do they call them? The inflation cards, the debit cards that were sent out from in California. Federal government just issued uh, a notice saying that the IRS is not going to tax us on that federally for the people that got those. So if you got that money, you don't have to worry about paying taxes. The story is below on that, which is awesome. That's, that's really good news. And guess what guys? Consumer price index, CPI, our inflation was just ratcheted up for October, November, and December. Huh? Okay. So it wasn't down. It was actually up, but you're not going to see that in the mainstream media. You're going to see that here. Okay. And, one simple little story that talks about how inflation was actually higher than it was uh, previously reported. It gets old, guys. It really does. It really does get old. And again, Dr. Marvin's a great guy. I really appreciate all the stories and everything. And if you guys ever send me anything, I do my best to thank everybody. Sometimes it's just incredibly difficult. And, you know, on a light day, we'll get hundreds of emails, to say the least. Okay? Something crazy was they found an old Harley Davidson motorcycle and the old Harley Davidson was put out to auction. And I found this great story on this from 1908. And this thing looks like one of the electric bikes you see today, but this thing got $936,000 at auction. It's the most expensive Harley that's ever been sold, but it's very cool just to see history like this. Something you'd see on, uh, uh, 
you know, Pawn Stars and things like that. And one thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to get me to, have you guys ever seen Count Custom, uh, uh, the Count, Danny, uh, Counting Cars? I want to get on that show. I want to go interview the Count. I think it'd be great in the show. I want to talk about the economics of rebuilding those old cars and everything that's into that. So I want to go to Vegas and my team's been reaching out to them. So hopefully we're going to be able to set that up. So if anybody knows the Count or Malcolm the Barbecue guy, those are the two guys I want to see next. So let me know if you guys know those people. Final, final story on this video is that things are bad right now, guys. But there's a great story about how cheap beer, cheap beer is off, guys. People cannot, people are, are not spending the money that they used to spend and they're not buying beer, not buying cheap beer. That was the alternative before is that the higher price brands, the premium brands, the Stella, the Heineken, stuff like that, the Coronas, things like that, whatever you drink, okay, the 805, I don't care. I'm not going to hear it. I mean, those are terrible, Dan, whatever, but the cheaper beers are what normally sells right now and those are not selling. Beer is down 14% and it's down 19% from a year ago right now, month over month, which is crazy. And it's down pre-pandemic levels. So people are not buying beer like they used to. And I'm going to get people going, well, beer is unhealthy, Dan. So people are trying to be healthier. Now, no, people want to escape. People want to go out and sit and watch a ball game or hang out and or just go to happy hour and get a drink. And they're not doing that, guys. So enough said. Please do not forget to hit the like button. I hope I'll learn to speak. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe to the video. Again, hello at iallegedly.com. I appreciate all the stories that you guys send me, all the emails, all the comments, everything, guys. It's fantastic. Okay? But man, oh man, this is... I love coming out here. It's so beautiful. Such a great spot. Let me know if there's other places I should be out here in Southern California. Let me know. I'm going to travel a lot this year. Now that my girlfriend's memorial is done, all bets are off, guys. I'm going around the country. So going to visit a lot of YouTubers, a lot of friends. Got stuff planned. Can't wait to share with you guys, okay? I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for being here, guys.